Well, you are with RT live from Moscow. And in the last few minutes, the founder of whistleblowing website WikiLeaks has been granted bail by a British court. UK prosecutors had appealed an earlier decision to let Julian Assange go free from prison. Sweden wants him extradited on charges of rape. Let's get more of this now. Let's cross live to RT's Laura Emmett, who has details for us live in London outside the courthouse. So uh, support of, uh, supporters of Assange must be uh, quite thrilled with the court's decision. Yes, yeah, so I can see the, the media scrum behind me and just every couple of seconds or so you can hear a jubilant cheer going up from Assange's supporters. They'll certainly be very pleased that he's been granted bail on this occasion. It's been a, a, a tight wait for them since Tuesday when the bail uh, was contested. Uh, we shouldn't forget, though, that uh, the bail has been set at £240,000. That's an awful lot of money which has been put up in uh, various quantities by his supporters, $30,000 each, $20,000 dollars each that kind of thing so it's been scraped together and uh, the uh, not content with receiving pledges of that money uh, the court wants to have the cash in its hand before they let Julian Assange go also very tight conditions to his bail uh, he'll have to wear an electronic tag and he will also have to report into the local police station and be under a curfew he's going to be held under what the media is calling mansion arrest uh, in a sort of tautology of house arrest he will be staying at the house of a friend of his, the founder of the Frontline Club, Vaughan Smith, down in Suffolk. Very large house. Uh, he's probably not going to suffer a lot of hardship in terms of, of, uh, of material conditions, but certainly that curfew and those electronic tags will make him feel like a criminal. Now, I'm joined uh, by one of his supporters, Verena Peer, who's from the Justice for Assange uh, group. Verena, you must be very pleased at what's just happened. I'm very, very happy. We were nervous for the last week, and now this is what we wanted, and now we're really happy. And what do you think is going to happen from here? What do you envisage? I mean, I hope that they leave him alone and WikiLeaks can continue what they did. And what do you think about the role of Sweden? We've seen quite a lot of toing and froing in terms of these bail conditions. Uh, and now Britain uh, contesting the bail, the Crown Prosecution Service contesting the bail. Initially, we thought that was Sweden. What, what's your sort of theory on what's going on there? Well, I don't, I'm not exactly sure, but I think there's one power that has the thumb on those countries and that rules kind of everything so I think they're just intimidated because of that whole thing uh, and tell me about it in more detail intimidated intimidated by what and, and who's who's doing that who's pushing these buttons I, I cannot say that well I think everybody knows or people have kind of an Im imagination but um, I mean it's quite obvious that the cables came out and the, the charges were were here so it's kind of bad timing or actually good timing either way and what's your group going to do now we definitely stand for WikiLeaks. We're going to support them. We're going to make a website and we try to donate money and we just want to support them. And why is it so important to you to stand up for Julian Assange? Um, first of all, I'm for freedom of speech and second, um, I don't know, I just pretty much saw everything in, in the news and um, I don't want a an, an man that is not guilty being locked up in prison just for the sake of it and just to be quiet that the truth doesn't come out. I mean, I think we all have a right to know what's going on. And if something bad comes out, um, we have to make it better and, yeah. And, and the, the conditions, what, what, what do you think will happen now? I mean, Sweden has obviously pushed quite hard for, for Assange to be extradited. What, what's the next step? I think this will, will be a long battle. I think, I think in January it's going to be another one, another hearing. And I think it will be on quite, for quite a while. Yeah. Okay, Verena Pear, thank you very much okay. for joining us. We are hearing from Verena, of course, that there will be another uh, extradition hearing uh, on January the 11th, in fact, at the beginning of next year. Uh, that will be uh, deciding whether Julian Assange is to be extradited to Sweden. Those kinds of processes can take weeks, and uh, it wasn't clear until just now whether Julian Assange would have to spend that time in prison or whether, in fact, he would be released on bail. We now know that he will be out on bail. In fact, we're expecting him to come out of the courthouse, possibly, uh, and face all this media and all these photographers. Uh, so we shall try and uh, try and see what he and his lawyers have got to say about this. But this is a process that isn't going to go away for Julian Assange. Uh, he is going to face an extradition hearing and there is a possibility that if extradited to Sweden, he could then be extradited onwards to the US to face charges of espionage. All right, Laura, we'll do keep us posted if Julian Assange does address the media in the coming hours there outside the courthouse in London. RT's Laura Emmett reporting live there from London with Verena Peyer from the Justice for Assange campaign. Thank you.